up here at the farm this is saturday the 24th i think uh just piddling still trying to get people to pick up their crap from this auction and some wean up was supposed to be here at 10 30. it's 20 minutes till 12. they probably ain't going to show up that's happened a lot on the loadouts on this auction but anyway this is an early 70s mercury 7.5 on a new John boat I bought uh, almost 10 years ago, eight years ago maybe. A little trailer, I did some wheeling and dealing, uh, ended up with it for free. It's just a little boat trailer, ain't nothing special about it. Anyway, wife and I were out on Lake the Pines, a uh, high, high center to stump, and shifted about five gallons of water into the boat. And from that day forward, I wasn't allowed to use this boat no more. But since we sold the pontoon boat, now she wants to get this thing going again. Hasn't been started in six years, seven years. And clean the plugs, change oil in the foot, check the water pump, of course. Uh, busted right off on the third pool. Everybody gets confused on premix. Oh, I bought this can from work. I usually buy one of these every two years for the weed eater at work. And this will be a good spare fuel can for the boat with premix in it. It's empty. But you can get on the internet and get a little chart. It tells you, you can't hardly really see this I'm sure, but it tells you based on uh, if you want 50 to 1, 40 to 1, whatever. Tells you how much two-stroke oil put in per gallon of gas. Uh, oh, been playing with the tractor a little bit today. The new one I just bought. All the grease irks took fitting, or all the grease irks took grease. That's the canopy we put on that damn near killed us. I did find that the tachometer works intermittently, so it's probably got a bad tack cable. I'll see about ordering one of those first of the week. Uh, already am thankful I got a loading tractor back up here it's come in handy amazing you don't miss something until it's gone and I swear as soon as I loaded that last loader tractor I had at auction I needed a loader tractor and this thing serviced out real nice change the oil change the fuel filter uh, drain about a half gallon of fuel from the fuel tank, get any contaminant out. And she starts right up. So, throttles all the way at low idle. Clear stack. Here's your blow by too. You got no blow by at all. Goes through all the gears just fine. You can see how sweet it sounds. It's, it's a real nice sounding tractor. Like I said these rears, they ain't new. They got plenty of life left in them. They'll last me for what I'm going to use this tractor for for five years probably. No DEF on this tractor, of course. And I went to get a valve cover gasket so I can check the settings on the intake and exhaust valves. They're about due at the hour meter, right? And they had, uh, I want to say it's John Deere 5300, four wheel drive, cabin air, loader, had a grapple on it, a bucket, and a hay spear, $78,000. And it takes DEF. So, now you see why I like my old stuff. Uh, this little thing here, like I said, it's going to last me the rest of my life. If I keep it that long, I won't. And uh, it's a sweet little tractor. Nice thing is, all the grease fittings, you can tell what they've been greasing it before. So whoever had this thing took good care of it. At least they greased it. Oil didn't look terrible. Got one of the standardine injection pumps. I already put in the standardine uh, fuel treatment to uh, lubricate these injection pumps called the low sulfur diesel. You can hear it. It is a sweet sounding tractor. 
does everything it's supposed to do. Haven't hooked anything to the three point yet, but I got no doubts whatsoever the three point's gonna look or work. The uh, hold up device for this is gone. Uh, that ain't gonna break my heart. Adjusters work. That's a pretty damn nice old tractor. Uh, the uh, drawbar adjustment, you can still pull the drawbar in and out. That's your tank drain down there. Uh, periodically drain any contaminant out of your fuel. Uh, lights work, turn signals work. Doesn't have a rear work light, but I don't do any kind of night work anyway, so it don't matter to me. But, uh, oh, another thing. This is the wise four-wheeler, already serviced it. Come find out, it's a 2006 model. I did figure that out. This old trailer, I bought her years ago for our other four-wheeler. And these cheap Chinese tires with tubes are always going flat. I got a bunch of tire jacked up here, so well, what the hell. This is a tube tire. We threw in some tire jack and see if it works on tube type tires as well. It's just an experiment. If it don't work, I'll just go get some more tires and tubes. It ain't that big a deal. The dirt cheap Amazon. But uh, seems like you like your four wheeler. She's you know, she's sitting by the fire. She seems to like her four wheeler, so she's happy with it. Uh, high low range works, reverse works, four wheel drive works. Uh, a couple grand at auction. We haven't run it long enough to get the oil cooler fan to turn on, so I don't know if it works. That probably does, who knows. Yeah, I got a little bit of an oil leak, but to fix it, I gotta drop a panel off the bottom of the engine. It's a little leak. I might get around to it later on, might not, who knows. I just changed the oil, so I prefer not to dump the oil. Little thing takes three and a half quarts. That was a little surprising. Oh, lights work too. Yeah. There she is. Again, this is ours. So when I change the oil, I write down the quantity and type uh, right there on the engine case. If we ever sell it, somebody don't like that. That's just uh, Sharpie, uh, WD-40 or brake clean. In a, a paper towel, take that right off. No leaks on the head. No leaks anywhere except that very bottom. Very slight oil leak, just a drip. Uh, puddle in seven days was about four inches across. Uh, not a pool, just a stain on the concrete. So, wow, I'm already up to eight minutes. This is going to be about two and a half, three hour upload. But anyway, that's all for this one. Thank you.